Welcome to this video against Zadon. And he wants to play the French defense. Okay, let's give it a try. The classical way. Normally, I, I, I think the, the, there are so many ways to play against the French. I think knight c3 is one of the strongest options. Although it's a lot of theory. And I'm not that familiar with all the theory here. Um, should I play e5 or bishop g5? Hmm. Let's play bishop g5. And then I can push e5 later on. And and play f4, and then I'm I, I'm rid of my my black squared bishop, which might be you know a little bit like a prisoner here. What I also can do is maybe playing h4. It's a Alakan Shatar attack, I think it's called. It opens up the H file. I think this was the only move, and I don't know why he thought that long about it. Other moves were not good. So h4, if he takes two times, he wins a pawn, right? But I have something like knight b5 also. And but I think I just play the normal way. And then f4, knight f3, just develop. Is queen b4 something I need to be scared of? Maybe I just play queen d2 afterwards. If he takes on b b2, I have rook b1 and a lot of play because I'm threatening already knight b5. Yeah, I can play knight b5 and then c c7 is hanging, so he can't do that. Okay, so let's play f4. Yeah, play f4, queen b4, queen d2 takes on b2, rook b1. Needs to go to a3, knight b5, attacking c7, attacking the queen. Queen f5 is not possible because of queen on d2. So that would be winning. And if he doesn't take on b2, I have maybe a3 and b4. Just forcing him to do so. So I think f f4 is um, a solid just to support the pawn on e5 and then I play knight f3 yeah isn't knight b5 now a good move I'm threatening I mean we, we play a, a rapid game and, and we have a lot of time to think about this and he just instantly played c5 and weakens the d6 square enormously so if you if I play knight b5 now, he needs to do something about c c7 threat. If he just castles, I have knight c7 and win the rook. So he needs to move his knight on d7 to protect c7, or knight a6 to protect c7. But then I always have knight d6, and knight d6 is check, and the knight on d6 is. is Excellent. 
Do I overlook something? I don't think so. Then I can also support uh, the D4 pawn with uh, C3. I mean, that was what the whole idea of Bishop G5 to get rid of the bishop, which would be here in, inside the pawn chain, and it would be like a big pawn. But on the other hand, I wanted to weaken black on the black squares because most of his pawns here in the center, uh, essentially every pawn in the center is uh, on, on white squares so the black squares are weak so he needs uh -huh. hmm. yeah i don't see a reason not to play knight c7 Yes, he has queen d4 check and he can take on d2. But I think after queen b4, I just play king f2. Should I? Another option would be knight d6 check. This must be good. So now he will play queen d4. Why didn't he play queen d4? I think this was the best chance. Again, he plays super, super quick. And I think he missed some counter chances here. I mean, now I just play a3. Hmm. <coughs> Should I play something other, something else? Queen d2 is maybe also an option. I think I play queen d2. It also avoids queen b4. If he plays queen b4, I. I might also castle long. Hmm. At the moment, I'm a whole rook up. So even if he wins uh, the knight back, he just has a pawn and uh, a knight for the rook so material wise it's uh, it's better for me and it doesn't take much time that I'm fully developed hmm. I can play knight f3 He has knight e4, okay. And after knight a4. So I maybe keep the knight on g1. What about taking on b4 and then playing rook d5, d4? 
can't take on a2 because after king b1 the knight is trapped and after knight e4 I just play in knight h3 protecting f2 let's, ex let's exchange queens here and if he now plays knight a2 quickly it would be a blunder so you should think about this yeah he saw it so I think I have nothing better than rook d1 and I enjoy still my material plus so now it's a whole rook maybe I have c4 I also can play, play bishop e5 to exchange more, more pieces I still like c4. What I can also do is maybe bishop d3. Just keep on developing. C4. I like C4. After D4, I also can play maybe uh, Bishop D3. And then I play knight f3. So I finish my development. After king b8, I think in the end I play knight b6. A3, B4 maybe also? Um, what is better? To win some time by playing A3 he needs to play king a8 and then b4 or playing knight b6 I think I just play a3 and now b4 so he, he cannot protect the d4 pawn anymore And my pieces um, will occupy the D file, which is open very, very soon. Um, and there is now no position here for the knight. Um, he can try to occupy the C5 square later on, but. for the time being he uh, he gives me a lot of time because I can play rook d4 with a tempo and maybe knight 
f5 later on i can kick the knight with g4 okay let's take here first And I think I play rook d1 and then rook d8. And then I play b6 and he's, he's frozen here. So he needs to play king b8 now. Play g4, knight e7. After b6, he has a move, knight c6. But it's dangerous? No. And I would jump to d6 with my knight and just winning the bishop later on. Okay, he resigned, but I think it's really easy now. I play b6, as said. He cannot move his pieces here. And then I play g4 next, kick this knight way away and then jump to d4, jump to d5, jump to d6 and I win the bishop here. Thanks for watching.